frame this all up and kind of put a bow tie on uh, the impeachment trial and also just the whole impeachment process. If you remember uh, late last year, right before Christmas, the impeachment, okay, here we go. It looks like we are getting uh, some more moments here. We have a standing ovation happening here. And now we are just moments away here on News Now bringing you the very, very latest. That is Jay Sekulow. That was President Trump's outside counsel, as well as another attorney. And uh, so they are getting a standing ovation there right now. We are awaiting just moments away from President Trump to make this first big presidential statement since being acquitted. I'm going to take the head-on shot now so we can see when those doors do open for the president here and uh, well if you remember late last year week before Christmas he gets impeached on the two articles then Nancy Pelosi holds those articles of impeachment looks like the doors are about to open for about a month and then that Senate trial got going earlier this year lasted about three weeks the doors are opening everyone is standing up let's put music audio on now for the president of the united states to be making this statement here and you're going to feature it you're going to see it right here on fox 10 extra and of course on our youtube channel worldwide Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Wow. We've all been through a lot together, and uh, we probably deserve that hand for all of us because uh, it's been a very unfair situation. Uh, I invited some of our very good friends, and we have limited room, but everybody wanted to come. We kept it down to a minimum, and believe it or not, this is a minimum. Uh, but a tremendous thing was done over the last number of months, but really if you go back to it over the last number of years, we had the witch hunt. It started from the day we came down the elevator, myself and our future first lady who's with us right now. Thank you, Melania. And it never really stopped. Uh, we've been going through this now for over three years. Uh, it was evil, it was corrupt, it was dirty cops, uh, it was leakers and liars. And this should never ever happen to another president, ever. I don't know that other presidents would have been able to take it. Some people said no, they wouldn't have. But I can tell you at a minimum, uh, you have to focus on this because it can get away very quickly, no matter who you have with you, it can get away very quickly. It was a disgrace. Uh, had I not fired James Comey, who was a disaster, by the way, uh, it's possible I wouldn't even be standing here right now. We caught him in the act. Dirty cops, bad people. If this happened to President Obama, a lot of people would have been in jail for a long time already, many, many years. Uh, I want to start by thanking 
some of, and I call them friends, because, you know, you develop friendships and relationships when you're in battle and war, much more so than, gee, let's have a normal situation. With all that we've gone through, we've done, I think, more than any president and administration. And really, I say, for the most part, Republican congressmen, congresswomen, and Republican senators, we've done more than any administration in the first few years. You look at all of the things we've done. I watched uh, this morning as they tried to take credit for the stock market from, from, think of that. Let me tell you, if we didn't win, the stock market would have crashed. And the market was going up a lot before the election because it was looking like we had a good chance to win. And then it went up tremendously from the time we won the election till the time we took office. Uh, which was November 8th to January 20th. And that's our credit, that's all our credit. And leading up to that point was our credit because there was hope. And one of the reasons the stock market's gone up so much in the last few days is people think we're doing so well. They liked the State of the Union speech. It really is. It's a true honor to give it. Uh, making the State of the Union speech, I was with some people that have been around. They've been all over the world. And one of them said, highly sophisticated person, said, you know, no matter where you go in the world, it doesn't make any difference. There is nothing like what I witnessed tonight. The beauty, the majesty of the chamber, uh, the power of the United States, the power of the people in this room. A really an amazing even I don't think there is anything like that anywhere in the world. You can go to any other country, you can go to any other location, any other place. It's the beauty of everything, it's what it represents and how it represents our country. I want to start by introducing some of the people that are here. I know some are going to be left out, but they work so hard. And this is really not a news conference, it's not a speech, it's not anything, it's just we're sort of uh, it's a celebration because we have something that just worked out. I mean, it worked out. We went through hell unfairly, did nothing wrong, did nothing wrong. I've done things wrong in my life, I will admit. <laughs> Not purposely, but I've done things wrong. But this is what the end result is. <laughs> that he ran one of the worst campaigns in the history of the presidency. But she said, there's something so compelling, has to be so compelling and so overwhelming and bipartisan. I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country. She was right about that. And it's just not worth it. That was Nancy Pelosi a year ago, right? And I think it's a shame. I think it's a shame. But as I said, if we can put this genius to work on roads and highways and bridges and all of the things we can do, prescription drugs. You know, we had Secretary Azar's here, and I want to thank him for this, but we had uh, first time in 51 years where drug prices actually came down last year. First time in 51 years. But what we can do working with both parties in Congress is, would be unbelievable. It would be unbelievable what we can do. And I know Chuck Grassley is working very hard on it, and Mitch is working very hard on it. But what we can do is, is incredible. What we can do just generally, 
We've done so much without it. We've rebuilt our military. We've cut regulations at a level that nobody thought possible. We'll always protect our Second Amendment. We all know that. But I just want to tell you that it's an honor to be with you all. Uh, I want to apologize to my family for having them have to go through a phony, rotten deal by some very evil and sick people. And Ivanka is here, and my my sons, and my whole family. And that includes Baron. That includes Baron, who's up there as a young boy. Stand up, honey. Ivanka, thank you, honey. Come. I just want to thank my family for sticking through it. This was not part of the deal. I was going to run for president, and if I won, I was going to do a great job. I didn't know that I was going to run, and then when I got in, I was going to have to run again and again and again. Every week, I had to run again. That wasn't the deal, but they stuck with me. And I'm so glad I did it, because we are making progress and doing things for our great people that everybody said couldn't be done. Our country is thriving. Our country is just respected again. And it's an honor to be with the people in this room. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go, President Trump leaving after more than an hour doing a statement no taking no questions there but leaving with the first lady also thanking his family for uh sticking by him during a time that he says was very very bad for the country during this impeachment process and they are now leaving and we are going to take a break we'll be right back here more news now up next <laughs> 